I V M. We would like to thank Storytel for sponsoring this show. Storytel is an audiobook platform that lets you hear hundreds of thousands of stories on your mobile PC, wherever you prefer. This week, I'm going to recommend a modern classic. It's a story that many have seen, but few have heard or read. Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. The story is loosely based on the War of the Roses succession fights in 15th century England. When you hear Roy Dotrice narrate the story, it really brings it alive. Go to storytell.com slash IVM and you'll be able to get your first month for 99 rupees. That's 200 rupees off the regular 299 a month price. That's storytell.com slash IVM. Go get it now. Welcome to Pesa Vesa. I'm your host, Anubam Gupta, P50 on Twitter. And on today's show, I have with me Vivek Veda, co-founder and CFO at Credit B. Credit B, K-R-E-D-I-T-B-E-E. And we are going to be talking about personal loans. Yes, it's a very important financial product. I love it when you talk about loans because loans are really, you know, very critical to our lives in terms of liquidity and in terms of whenever we need money and we don't have access to it. So we're going to talk about this concept of a personal loan and how it is useful for you and the you know the actual meet steps to build a credit score. How do you choose a good personal loan provider? Okay, let's get this started. Vivek, welcome to Paisa Paisa. Thank you so much for doing this for our listeners. Let's start with a brief introduction to yourself and to Credit B. Hi, Anupam. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for inviting me on the show. So quickly about myself, uh, you know, my name is Vivek Veda. I am a chartered accountant by profession, and uh, you know, before before starting Credit B, I was a banker, uh, worked with several banks, uh, including HSBC, Society General, and there I decided that you know there is a good amount of unserved markets, uh, you know, which is not served by large banks or NBFCs, and the good potential where if we can make our mark. With that intention uh, and aspiration, we started this journey in 2016, and today we are one of the largest digital lenders in the country. So, so that that that's a brief about uh, myself, uh, you know. Yeah, very interesting, Vivek. So you've had, you know, you've worked in the banking industry long enough. You know exactly where the gaps are. So let's get into exactly that. First, I'm. I want you to tell our listeners about the concept of a personal loan. Okay, now I know it sounds very obvious. Personal loan means it's basically, I guess, an unsecured loan or whatever it is. So out of all the various categories of loans that are out there, like you have a home loan, okay, which is you take to buy a house or the other way a loan against property which means that you're putting your house as collateral for a loan or say loan against security sort of all these loans that are out there in the market what exactly are personal loans and tell us about that sure so generally personal loans are unsecured loans which help individuals to meet their current financial needs so in short uh, you know one does not have to pledge uh security or give any collaterals and the flexibility to use the funds as per the own need is one of the key uh characteristics of the personal loans uh just to give you an uh, example think of a situation a property broker or a marriage broker right they will get their commissions when uh, you know the deal will happen and deal will surely happen but they they require money on day one to clear their bills now there are these kind of personal loans come very handy where you can borrow the money at a very easy term and then repay it when your cash flows allow it uh, so so that is the uh, one of the key characteristics the easiness and the uh, uh, the, the uh, you know the the fast pace at where, uh, at which you can borrow this money right uh, now uh, you know if you compare to other loans what you have mentioned like uh, loan against property loan against security these are the loans where you can borrow a large sum but again they are backed by the collaterals what does that means is uh, you know it might come at a much cheaper rate as compared to the personal loans but again you need to have a good amount of security to borrow that loan you need to give a good amount of documentation to enter into this kind of an agreement and generally these are much longer term loan as compared to the personal loans which can help you to solve your immediate needs interesting so when you say personal loan i'm just trying to understand how could this be different from say credit cards you know say that all of you know let's say that if someone has a credit card that's also kind of a personal loan in a certain sense could you just help our listeners understand the difference between personal loan and you know a credit card sure so see if you look at credit card uh, you know generally credit card uh, has a limitation of where all you can use it for example if i have to pay my rent right uh, in a particular month or if i have to do some extra expenditure 
it might be possible that uh, you know credit card is uh, option is not available at that stage second thing if you look at the credit card penetration in india it's it's just like around 2 and a half percent or 3 percent per se so what does that mean is it still credit card industry is at a very nascent stage where last mass of public cannot avail the money from uh, credit cards whereas personal loan is uh, is a business which is uh, going on for ages uh, available to everyone uh, just just the, the the nature of loans personal loan changes so for example uh, you know earlier there were a lot of uh, old school people who used to give personal loans at a very high rate of interest you can say more of a unorganized sector right then so you know, nbfcs came into picture where nbfcs started giving loans or personal loans uh, then banks banks were always there to give personal loans but again the the size was much larger was much larger uh, now the new age fintech companies have come in where they 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 can easily solve a problem where even if a person is looking for a, a small amount of 3000 rupees you know per se they can take a personal loan and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, make make that feature so so the easiness of uh, of uh, getting a personal loan as compared to a credit card where where you know the the, the penetration is very less uh, that that differentiate the two products very interesting so like i want to tell us why these personal loans are important okay and how they actually make a difference in our lives i'm it's really interesting that you mentioned how you know in the old days before lending was not as formalized or as organized as it is today you had the informal sector you had unorganized people and even that even crushes today also that and the interest rates are seriously high out there could be as high as 2% a month so just to put this in perspective for our listeners why are personal loans important i mean how do they make a difference in our lives see uh, the anupam you know india is an aspirational market right where uh, the, the demographic dividend is such that people know they will be earning say in next 2 to 3 months and they want to spend the money uh, right away they want to buy uh, iphones they want, want to have all the good things they want to spend uh, money on the vacations now in all this kind of a situation you know, personal loans really come very handy so suppose i i i want to go for an vacation right and i i i know that i can repay the emis in next 3 months why not i i should take a personal loan and repay the money and enjoy the vacation? Uh, rather than saving the money for next 3 4 months and then spending it on the vacation right uh, second thing where personal loans come very handy is say unexpected emergency needs also a medical emergency is borrow money and uh, pay the bills right uh, so or or if you could do some large large spending say a vacation expense right personal loans is very very handy why it is uh, uh, picked up recent or you know picking up very at a very fast is the aspiration level of a person Uh, you know uh, the india india is a very very uh, favorable demographic country in terms of lot of young guys as traditional that who want to spend money who want to have all the facilities right away don't mind paying up over a period of time so i think uh, you know that gives a lot of boost to this kind of an industry and personal loans more or less has become part of everyone's life okay great so last question on this first half week i want you to tell our listeners uh, there are various places from where you can get personal loans <laughs> one you just said was unorganized sector which i hope that you possibly want to avoid that because who knows interest rates are high but on the organized side there are lots of people now who give personal loans okay three that come to come on top of my mind are banks nbfcs and fintech players of course fintech players sometimes also have nbfcs at the back end also so just tell us where all can you get personal loans and how are each of these different in their own way uh sure on pump so uh, you know uh, as rightly said uh, three of the large players who can give uh, personal loans uh, one other traditional bank right one of the oldest largest kind of formal lenders uh, however uh, you know uh, the, the the major issue with banks somewhere they are old school thought right they they will acquire customers uh, traditionally what does that mean is to personally interact by going to a bank branch you have to uh, uh, you know spend time to get or do a lot of documentation to get loans from the banks uh, but th- th- there is a very less digitalization so what does uh, in turn means is that if you are looking for a personal loan from banks necessarily uh, need to be a good amount when i say good amount means say upward of 2 lakh rupees or so uh, and then there is somewhere banks also look for existing relationship with the clients uh, before giving any personal loan so in short uh, uh, a very handy way to take loans from bank but are looking for a larger amount or a larger tenure personal loans uh, and have a, a existing relationship with the bank this channel is the most cost effective channel second uh, uh, channel which comes for a personal loan is the large nps 
uh, you know, so NBFCs are uh, nothing but uh, non-banking financial companies which are regulated by Reserve Bank of India and are authorized to give loans uh, uh, to the end, uh, end, end borrowers. Now, uh, the, the, it is again a very formal channel of uh, uh, taking loans. Uh, the only thing is uh, that the, the, the NBFCs, they generally specialize in a very particular kind of financing. Uh, think of a Bajaj Finance, right? If you are looking for a large consumer durable loan, Bajaj Finance is an option. If you are looking for uh, some other kind of a gold loan, all those, so it will come as a collateral, but you can take a personal loan uh, by, by giving some securities at large gold loan company. So again, the only limitations with these uh, large NBFCs is uh, they, they, they also work uh, more or less in a banking way where you have to spend a good amount of time. Uh, it might take even a few days to get a loan. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, they might ask for some collaterals. And since their cost of acquiring the customer is high, they generally look for a larger ticket kind of a personal. The fastest uh, way of taking a personal loan is the new age fintech which has come into the uh, And uh, let me give you an idea how it works. The overall idea is very safe. You know, the borrower has to approach a new age fintech company for the loans. Now, uh, these, these companies cannot give loans on their own. So definitely they have NBFCs in the backing. But the way the borrower interact with the lenders completely changes when it when, when they try to avail loan from these new age fintechs. So what does that mean is there will be very less documentation. Uh, it will be complete digital process. You can avail loans by sitting in your home. So, so the easiness or the interface the way it, you, you avail personal loans from these fintechs changes a lot as compared to the traditional way when you go to a bank or large NBF. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, folks, we're going to take a small break out here. On the other side of the break, we're going to come back and tell you what Credit B is all about and how this make the personal loan, you know, the concept of personal loan easier for you. And, of course, we're going to give you a lot of tips. If you guys are out there waiting to take a personal loan, we're going to give you a lot of tips on how to build a good credit score and how to look for a good personal loan. Okay, I should say personal provider. Okay, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Credit B special with Vivek, with our co-founder and CFO at Credit B. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great, awesome, amazing week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Would like to thank the sponsor on the network this week, Storytel and The Whole Truth Foods. We have a new show out this week, Candid Kanan with Siddharth Kanan. Sid K is a well-known RJ. He has an incredible show with some of the most amazing Bollywood celebrities. As part of the first week's episode, we're releasing five episodes at one time, so you can get your fill of Sid. You can hear him talk to Varun Dhawan, Anil Kapoor, Anurag Kashyap, Bhumi Pednikar, and a whole lot more. This week on the Edges and Sledges podcast with Varun DJ and Ashwin, hear them talk about the historic victory that India achieved at GABA. Maru Kinayath had an amazing talk with Gulpanag. They spoke about the farmer protests and why Bollywood celebs are acting the way that they are. And finally, Shunya One is back this week. Sheila Ditya and me talk to Anirudh Singla from Pepper Content. We have a great lineup of guests coming up in the coming weeks, including Deepak Abbott, the co-founder of India Gold. Definitely check that out. And with that, let me get you back to your show. And welcome back to the Credit B special. I have with me Vivek Veda, co-founder and CFO at Credit B. In the first half of this episode, we were talking about personal loans, how they work, what they are, how they're useful, the different places from where you can get them. And now we're going to talk about how Credit B offers them. So, Vivek, welcome back. Tell us about how Credit B is different, right? Because it's, you know, it's, as, as you had said, there are a lot of fintech players not that offer personal loans via an app online very, very smoothly. So, will you tell us how Credit B is different from all of them? Uh, sure, Anupam. First, let me take two steps back and explain what exactly Credit B is, right? So, uh, quickly, you know, we started this journey somewhere in 2016. Um, uh, to start with, we, we, we entered into the student lending space because somewhere we wanted to test our waters and see how this overall unsecured app-based lending will shape up. Once we got a good amount of success and uh, a, a very good customer base, we entered into the personal loan segment. Uh, and and uh, now where we stand today, just to give you uh, some idea, uh, we are the largest digital lenders. We started this journey in 2016 with uh, around six, seven people. Now we are a strong team of thousand plus people. Uh, on a monthly basis, we are disbursing somewhere around 800 crores plus the uh, kind of a number spread across say, millions of customers. Um, so, so this is one of the very differentiating factor for, uh, uh, you know, uh, as compared to when we see many other fintech players, 
where they are still at a very nascent stage. Um, the, the good part for Tripe is that we have our own NBFC, so we provide end-to-end -end complete self solution uh, where we uh, we have our own NBFC, which is a systematic important NBFC. So what does that mean is, uh, rather than becoming an account aggregator or just a, a platform to acquire customer, we can underwrite it uh, the, the customer on our own books and we can give a loan to a customer from our own books. Now, this is one of the main differentiating factors where they just act as a platform to acquire the customer and give it to other large NPFCs as compared to Credit B where we can uh, underwrite or give loans from our own book. That is one of the very differentiating factors. Second thing is, uh, you know, uh, we uh, in last four, four and a half years, we have been able to create a very uh, a good relationship with large banks and NBFCs where we are able to borrow the money at a very cheaper rate from these banks and NBFC and it's able to pass it on to the end customer at a very competitive rate. Now, uh, Anupam, just to give you an idea, you know, uh, if somebody has to compare where bank stands, large NBFC stands or, uh, you know, fintech stands, the banks can give you loans anywhere between 16%, uh, between 10 to 15% kind of rate of interest. Large NBFC is anywhere between 14 to 20%. Whereas fintech, the, the lending rates can be a bit higher, starting from say 17, 18 percent to as high as 25, 26 percent. But the good part is, uh, with the fintechs or new age companies, you can really borrow money fast with a click of a button sitting at home, rather than visiting a branch and uh, going with a uh, you good amount of documentation or uh, spending a good amount of time. That is something which differentiates all these three seconds or three years who give personal. Sure, very interesting. So, Vivek, now let's get to some practical ideas. Okay, um, I don't know now how many listeners are actually out there uh, who take personal loans, but uh, irrespective of that, credit score is actually a very important thing for all of us. Okay, so even if you're applying for a credit card, you need a credit score. Um, you go for a car loan, home loan, any any kind of loan. I think pretty much you will need a good credit score. Could you? Give our listeners some solid tips, solid ideas, maybe make a checklist of sorts that this is the way that you should actually build a strong credit score. Sure, Anupam. So, uh, you know, um, these days it's very easy to avail personal loans. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are a lot of avenues to avail personal loan. But one thing person has to keep in mind that it's a borrowed money and there is an obligation to pay. If you don't pay it on time, you, your credit, host, uh, uh, credit score might be impacted which can impact your further loan taking capability. So just, you know, a couple of points which a borrower should always keep in mind while, uh, you know, uh, they, they are taking a personal loan. One that, uh, or, or they want to improve their credit score is that always pay your bill on time. That is one of the simplest mantra for this. Pay your bills on time. Second thing, as there are a lot of avenues available to borrow, please make sure that the credit is availed prudently and don't end up into a debt trap. What does that mean is don't look for that, okay, there are so many avenues available, borrow as much as possible. As mentioned, you have to pay it back, otherwise your credit score will be impacted. So be very judicial in what you are borrowing and why you are borrowing. Third, maintain a very healthy credit mix of, uh, say, secured loans, unsecured loans, right? Certain stage, one will be looking for a housing loan, which is a very long-term loan. But if any delay in that, your credit score will be impacted. At the same time, if you have a housing loan, when you are borrowing a personal loan, make sure that your monthly cash flows can pay the EMIs of both the loans. So, so in short, you have to be very prudent while you are availing any loan and make sure the payment is on time to get, get into a good credit score. Uh, one of the important uh, factors what I want to highlight here is you know, you have to borrow to make your credit score uh, uh, reach a certain level. So, so it's not like, uh, you know, it's a wrong thing to borrow. Borrow and pay on time so that your credit score is increasing. Just to give you an idea, as a credit B, we have evaluated or we have upgraded a million plus customers who came to us with a zero or minus one credit score. What does that mean is they have never borrowed. And right now they have a... They have paid on time. They have a credit score where they can easily approach banks and borrow money from them. This all has come in because they have paid credit B on time 
and every time they take loan and pay us, we upgrade their bureau score. And now their bureau score is such that they can take large loans from banks or larger than the other. Great. I want to talk about this last point a bit. Today. Let's just break this down. Okay. You said that it helps for customer. I mean, for us, if we take more loans and also importantly, repay them on time. So are you saying that, uh, let's say that there is someone who takes one loan in one year and let's say there's someone who takes three loans in one year and the guy who's taking three loans in a year also pays it off on time and the guy taking one loan a year also pays it off on time. So are the chances higher of the guy with three loans having a better credit score than the guy with one loan? Definitely, definitely. Ah. The chances because because uh, see how credit bureau works. They 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 they, they also look at how many uh, uh, you know underwriters have underwritten this person. So if you have taken loans from say Bajaj Finance, Credit B, or uh, 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 say HDFC, a home loan, a consumer durable loan, and a personal loan, you are paying it in time. That means that you are very disciplined customer, which has been underwritten by three players and who is uh, uh, always paying on time. So definitely you have a higher credit score uh, in case a fourth guy needs to underwrite. Very interesting. Again, a related question here. How important is paying early? You know, like like if I have a credit card, then in an entire year, I will get 12 credit card statements. So does it matter when I pay them? Let's assume, of course, that I'm paying the entire bill before the due date. But does it make a difference to my credit score if I pay the entire credit card bill five days before or 10 days before or, or say on the date of the bill, the credit card bill itself? Does that make any difference? No, so definitely there are some brownie points uh, when you are paying your bills much earlier than the due date. So there are a few brownie points, especially in the credit card industry. But uh, think, think of uh, another way, right? I, I give personal loans and I generally underwrite people at a very young age. Now, if you have taken a loan from me and uh, you are paying it uh, much earlier than your due date and then you are again reply, uh, applying for a loan, then, uh, you know, that gives me some kind of a fear whether you were actually looking for a loan or you, are just, you just want to increase your credit score or you just want to increase your credit limit and then at certain point want to default, right? So, so it has a positive and negative thing also where, you know, uh, it might give you some brownie points. The underwriter may, might also look at it in a way that whether are you actually looking for a loan. End of the day, loans are generally, it, it, it includes a cost. So they are, they are taken when you need it, right? And then if you are taking a loan, the chances are that you want to pay it on the time only rather than paying it early, then applying for a loan. Interesting. Let's look at the other side, bad behavior. You know, stuff that really messes up our credit score. So one of the things that I keep on keep on hearing is people who take loans to pay off loans. Does that also get captured in the system? See, uh, you know, uh, generally, yes, uh, because uh, what happens is your credit credit score or your credit report gives a complete idea to the underwriter or banks or large NBFCs or NBFCs that how this person has behaved over a period of time from how many people he has availed the loan. Now, when I look at a credit report of a person, I definitely look at it that whether he's trying to avail new loans to pay the past limits, right? And there is a limitation on which a borrower can or a lender can underwrite a person in terms of that if he has availed a lot of loans from uh, many of the different players in the market, um, generally the lender will be very risk averse and won't give it to uh, uh, to those guys. So, so, you know, somewhere it gets captured uh, uh, on, uh, you know, how much debt a person is into. That's why I, I, I said in this article that be very judicious in terms of how many loans you are availing. Second, look at the regulations. It says that you cannot pay your loans uh, by using credit cards. So somewhere, you know, the, the intention is that don't pay your loans by borrowing other loans, right? So that, that's the whole idea. But still, that options are available and people try to do it. See, end of the day, it's a debt trap. Uh, if you are not clear that your cash flows can serve the door, the debt what you have taken, you know, somewhere in the end, you will end it, end up into a debt trap and you will end up messing your credit. So, so uh, my sincere advice to the listeners is don't enter into a debt trap where you mm. try to avail one loan, pay off other loan, you know. Take loans which can be serviced by your cash flows for your income. Always, always. Last question, Vivek. Just if you can help our listeners to choose a good personal loan provider, how what would that list be? What what are the few things that they should look out for when they're searching for a, 
a good place on where they can take a course loan just just some tips and some ideas sure uh, see the, uh, what, what are the key factors when you look for a personal loan right the most important factor is the processing time and the pro, uh, the, the application process right how, how much time it takes to process the application the second more, more most important thing which comes into the mind is rate of interest what is the rate of interest uh, uh, that they are charging what is the processing fee they are charging another thing what one has to look at is what are the additional fees and charges in terms of penalty late payments uh, pre payment charges and stuff i think these are the so so if i have to bucket it in one the convenience of taking the loans at a very fast pace from a fintech player but definitely it might involve some higher charges as compared to traditional loans fantastic vivek thank you so much for that so uh, vivek as we wind up just uh, how do our listeners reach out to you yeah you can mail me at uh, vivek at prezib.com uh, i i think that is the best way to reach me or and you, you can have a website sorry sorry go on yeah and then then you can uh, uh, reach us on our web- website which is credit.co.in great guys so there you have it if you have any questions on personal loans feel free to reach out to vivek that is a wrap on this really special episode the credit be special we talk about personal loans with vivek we are co-founder and cfo at credit be vivek thank you so much for doing for our listeners thank you thanks anupam thanks thanks And listeners, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IBM Network. You can listen to us on the IBM Podcast app or ibmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on our social media. We are IBM Podcast on Twitter, and if you want to reach out to me, I'm your host Anupam Gupta B50 on Twitter. And thank you so much for listening to Besa Besa. No material on the show should be considered as financial advice. The material on the show is for informational purposes only. Please consult a financial advisor before taking any investment decision. What are some of the radical changes that are now shaping our workspace? With physical distancing and heightened safety protocols being the norm, will technology finally make its large-scale entry to the workspace? Will design as we know it change for the long term? Is it possible for the Indian commercial real estate space to adopt a 360 degree approach to sustainability? Join our hosts at the Future of Space podcast by RMC as we deliberate with industry leaders, analysts and bright young minds on the way forward for the workspace given the new covid normal. Tune in to the IBM Podcasts app or wherever you stream your favorite podcasts. 2020 is a difficult year. A global pandemic, protests, elections, recessions, you get the picture. What we need is a space where we can have nuanced discussions about global affairs and foreign policy. That's where I come in. My name is Hamsini Hariharan and I host the States of Anarchy podcast. Every second Tuesday I speak to experts in the field of international relations to make a little more sense of the world. So join me on the IVM podcast app, website or wherever you're listening to me right now.